It's resolution three. Develop business. I'll be honest with you with what's going on with the asset surveying. It's very hard to move on to something else um, purely because there's a lot of opportunities with it. I've got several people in some key positions in other companies as well. Um, there seems to be a shift in asset development as well because some companies actually lost some contracts recently um, relating to this, the standard and quality of the maintenance etc. And that all comes down to the fact the budgets were too low. The budgets are too low because they didn't do their due diligence properly. They haven't got their asset surveys done properly, etc. So I'm hoping, it's never an easy feat, that companies are starting to wake up to the fact they really need to do the asset surveys properly. Um, and also it needs to be people that actually know what they're doing. The amount of times I've seen companies caught out by just hiring anybody and then having to hire somebody else in to come in again and do it again. Um, myself, I've had to do a lot of stuff that other people should have done first time around. Um, but I say the nature of the beast, I think it's the nature of ignorance in many ways because people don't really understand the value of an asset survey won't waffle about it too much. Um, the other thing is the call centre. Well, in the last week I've had several companies approach me that are looking at developing things with the call centres. So I'm looking at that moment and see where it can lead and what's viable and what's worth the time. Because um, one thing I do have is I'm not in a rush to set it up again and get it going. It's all sat there, it's all paid for, there's no rush on it. Um, Somebody mentioned about why was my electric bill 20,000 pesos before. I forgot to mention, I've got two compounds, it's not one house. Um, so 20,000 included all the buildings in those two compounds. But it's predominantly the four big aircon units we have. Um, because if we switch them off, it drops down drastically. So I hope that answers that question. Because I know some people say, oh, well, in my house, it's only X. Yeah, you're in one house. We actually have a, the, our layout is, we've got the main house. Uh, behind the main house is the store. To the left of the store is the kids' apartment. Above the kids' apartment is mine and April's apartment. Next to the, that apartment above the store, there is my office, which has got an AC unit in it. Then if you go to the other compound, you have the ground, ground floor apartment. Next door to that is my office. Um, so I've got two offices. The, the one upstairs, we, we converted into a, a call center, um, 15, 16 seat call center. But the, basically I've got an office and then next door to that is the other call center room. Then above that is the apartment we're still renovating. Um, that's why the bill gets gets high sometimes because we're running basically two compounds um, But I would say a lot of the time it is just the four ACs Because the rest of the stuff isn't really heavy on the juice um, So yeah, it's just something to be aware of the AC is the biggest burner in the Philippines on the electric that I, that I found um, But that's why um, yeah, so business development, we'll see how it goes, because quite simply, the call centre stuff, if I get the right contract set up, Carlos is interested in working as well, so I've got Carlos is in Cebu, um, he could run things for me. Um, the English stuff is still developing, but I'm looking at how to, how to market it better, because we've got the teachers, I need to get the the students in at the moment we're getting students in from Vietnam, um, Thailand and quite simply there's a third party involved and I really want to get rid of rid of it so I've only got m myself and then the teachers. Um, cuts out the middleman, means there's more money to go around, means we can invest more money in actually developing the thing better. Um, but it all takes time. And like I said, I mean, the assets are very in. It's so busy now, I'm in two minds what to do at the minute. 
because although I'll continue with the asset surveying it's a case of where do we go with the English stuff do we hang on and just keep that as it is for now because it's very likely the call centre stuff will kick in first do we use it as a language school we'll wait and see well, that's the one thing I do have is a lot of space in Cebu that's one thing I will say um, which probably gets me onto the point of a critic that was saying oh you only bash the Philippines you know because you have no intention of going back I'm not going back to live permanently that there's a difference between going back permanently and running businesses and being there you know visiting um, <coughs> it's still where my wife's parents are it's still the family home etc Spain is still in its infancy of, of the move here um, so we, we like it here and we like the Philippines it's just that the the options for the kids here are much much better simple as that anyway that's my uh, what's that New Year's resolution 3 thanks for watching